Okay, today we have three new items for sale on Net54. First of all, is this very interesting Ted Williams approximately 8x10 photo. I have no idea what this is. It is probably a team issue piece. It is obviously dull, has some staining there. Here's the back right there. Interesting piece, $12 shipped. I don't know what it is, but it's a cool piece. Once again, there's the front. Little damage, little crease in the upper left corner or, or fold. Still a nice oddball Ted piece. It definitely got some age to it. That's the first item today on October 8th. Where's Jessica Mark? I don't know what you're talking about. Item number two is this very unusual, maybe five by eight or five by seven or four by seven, whatever. This is a photo card. I call it that because it's on cardboard stock. And it features, of course, the great Satchel Page, along with Hall of Famer Bob Feller, and I believe that to be Jim Hegan on the left. Um, it has some wear, including a clip corner there, some staining, increasing, and layering. And there's the back. Little piece of tape on the top and bottom borders. This is also something I don't know exactly what it is, but it's definitely a cool piece, and I believe it has some age. That also is available. This one is... $17 shipped. This is my family. And lastly for today is this Christy Matthewson piece. This is a tight, I believe it to be a tight one press photo. It looks like it was cut. It is only about three inches wide and about ten inches tall. Wide world photo, it says down the bottom here, as you can see. There it is, Wide World Photo, and it has editor's paint or whatever that is called. 1922. There's the identifier with a 1922 stamp date. I believe that to be December 18th, 19, or 19th, 1922. Very unusual Maddie piece cut from an original photo, but appears to be a working original photo. And this is $20 shipped. Got some condition issues. You can tell the cut, but still a great vintage Matthewson piece. So if you're interested in any of these three items, please PM me to reserve. And thank you, Scott.